Hey guys, this is the DMX Show and I'm your host Shane. Today I want to talk to you guys about the official over-the-air update uh, that's coming from Verizon. This is the official gingerbread. It's the final, uh, the final Motorola build. It is .596 and there are several ways to get there. Uh, the first way is to flash, uh, I'm sorry, to SBF your phone back to Froyo and await the over-the-air from Verizon which should be dropping June 1st. I know that um, it's been announced in the past that it was coming earlier but apparently it's moved to June 1st and I don't know how reliable that date is but I know it's coming soon they've already began the rollout and it's on uh, certain devices uh, people are beginning to have the uh, what they call the soap test um, so it is going over the air as we speak just not to everyone so June 1st is the official date but I would advise against doing that because you will lose root there is no root method for uh, .596 as of yet. However, there are several methods to getting on this .596 official uh, upgrade uh, with Root and Team Black Hat is who we have to thank for that. Uh, the first method would be to SPF back to Froyo and uh, go down to that link and there is a two-part um, update that you can flash through Droid 2 Bootstrap. Uh, you have to be on stock Froyo, and you do have to use Droid 2 Bootstrap. You have to be rooted, and you can install those through Clockwork Mod Recovery. You would install one, and as soon as it finished, you would install the other, and then you would reboot your phone. Um, I'm not doing the video on that method today. The third method is if you're already on a gingerbread leak, I imagine most of you that watch this channel, that's that's you. You're either on .588, .591, or .595. Uh, you will have to be on either of those three updates in order to flash uh, this pre-rooted .596. Uh, so go to the link in the description and download the DODEX or ODEX version of .596. I prefer the DODEX because you can apply themes. You can apply things such as CRT mod. Um, you can apply your battery indicator up top to have the percentage. Uh, there's all kinds of different things you can do. Uh, you can even go in there and remove throttling. All kinds of different things, but you have to be DODEX to do any of those modifications. So I suggest the DODEX version. Okay guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So on your phone, you're going to want to open up Droid 2 Bootstrap and click Bootstrap Recovery and select OK and Reboot Recovery <coughs> Okay, now there is a signed update.zip version, but that is completely stock. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys uh, before I get into that. Uh, I was on Zombie Stomped. I updated to .595 stock before doing this. If you're on a stock ROM, uh, .588, .595, .591 stock, uh, then you can update to .596 without wiping your data. If you are on Apex, Liberty, or Zombie Stomp, uh, or any of the Drew Garen ROMs, you will need to wipe data in factory reset in the clockwork menu before you update to .596. So because I'm on stock, now that boot logo that you saw, that was left over. Um, but anyways, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and go in there and find your .596 update. and uh, it'll be 596 it'll either be deodexed or odexed uh, I like the deodex because you can theme and modify the system framework um, odex you cannot do any of that stuff so I'm going to go ahead and select that I'm navigating with up and down volume select with camera and go back with the back button so go ahead and select that go down to yes install and it's going to begin its process this may take several minutes uh, probably even up to 10 minutes, but I want to talk to you guys about that signed update.zip. That is full stock. Uh, right now there is no root for that, so you won't be able to root that if you do uh, flash that. And the way that you would flash that is from stock Froyo. You would open up your uh, stock recovery, not clockwork recovery, but stock recovery uh, by pressing home and power 
Uh, you would boot into that. That's where you have the Android guy and the triangle with the exclamation point. You would press your up and down buttons, and that would bring up your menu. And then you would uh, you would select install update dot zip. Uh, that would be your totally stock signed zip file. And that, like I said, does not include root. It is not patched. Um, and there is no method of rooting that for now. So if you did want root in the future, you would have to SBF back to stock Froyo and go either this method or that two-part method, uh, which is the patched, um, the patched stock that you can run from Froyo. Um, the method that we're running today, of course, is not a two-part method. This is just the one-part file. That's if you're coming from .588, .591, or .595. The two part that is at that link, that is if you're coming from Froyo, and that two part is root, rooted, um, and it's unsigned. The signed version is not rooted. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now and let this do its thing because it is going to take several minutes. Okay, so it did not take as long as I thought it would take. It literally took about two minutes. So you'll see this message install from SD card complete. Go back and select reboot system now okay now you see I still have that old boot logo um, I can get rid of that with a boot logo changer or either you know you can SPF uh, back to factory and start the process over again but for me this is not a problem I can just go in the boot logo changer and change my boot logo um, but I'll show you here in a second that that update got us to .596 and I was on .595 now uh, the first the first boot normally takes a little bit longer so it may feel like it takes forever um, unless it goes and shows you that boot logo again and then goes through this boot cycle you're not in a boot loop it may just be taking several minutes up to 10 or even 15 minutes on the initial boot uh, if it does boot loop, what you're going to want to do is go into stock recovery by pressing home and power at the same time. Uh, then you'll bring up the menu by pressing these two buttons at the same time and you'll wipe data factory reset and that should take care of any boot looping issues. Uh, but if you're coming from any of those leaked versions, 0 .588, 0 .591, or 0 .595, uh, you should not have to wipe and you should not have a boot loop issue. It should just boot right up uh, after several minutes. Okay, so when it comes up, <coughs> I'm just going to go into settings and show you guys. It's going to take a few seconds for everything to populate here. Okay, so go down to About Phone, and, okay, as you can see, let's see, I don't know if you can see here. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys or not, but it is on the .596. version okay I'm not able to there we go 596 you can see it right there system 4.5.596 and there's your build number alright guys that's it uh, it's pretty simple and easy especially if you're already on a leak all you have to do is update it in D2 bootstrap and if you know how to install anything in clockwork mod then you already know how to do this uh, check out droidmoderx.wordpress.com to keep up to date and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. Uh, appreciate it guys. Thanks.